Welcome to the Old Fashioned Masonic Podcast, where we talk all things Freemasons while drinking an old fashioned. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button now. Platforms other than YouTube tend to block some of our content. Subscribe now to get up to date videos and shorts as they release. Now, enjoy this episode. Philippine bishops warn against Catholic Freemasons, according to the UCA News. Members of the Freemasons group allegedly participated in synodal consultations. Freemasons are seen during a gathering in the Bicol region of the Philippines on January 16, 2023. Filipino bishops have clarified their position on a canonically banned Freemasons. After allegations surfaced that a growing number of its members participate in church activities. The Commission on the Doctrine of Faith of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines issued a statement on March 24 to reiterate their stance on the free and accepted Masons of the Philippines. The Philippine hierarchy has always defended the Catholic magisterial position on the unacceptability of Masonry, given its serious errors, both in its philosophical tenets and practices, the Commission said. The bishop's clarification came against the background of several Catholics questioning the alleged participation of Masons in diocesan and national synodal consultations held from April to September 2022 in the country. Pope Francis launched the global exercise in October 2021, asking Catholics in every diocese to participate actively so the Church could listen to the realities of its members. In Catholic-majority Philippines, church members claimed they assumed the church's position on Freemasons changed when they found some participated in the synod process. Nothing has changed. Since several participants in the synod were Freemasons, we thought the church has relaxed the rules on its membership and its participation in activities of the Catholic Church, Quezon City parishioner Gloria Buencamino, 43, told UCA News on March 26. Buen Camino claimed some extraordinary ministers who helped the priests distribute communion during Mass in their parish were also Freemasons. They are good and pious Catholics, she explains. Personally, I was surprised to see the Church has released the pastoral guidelines, Buen Camino added. But the Bishop's Commission clarified that nothing has changed and asserted that those joining Masonry will incur canonical penalties. Yet, given the sensitivity and delicateness of the issue in the Philippine setting, it has also shown openness in the exercise of pastoral circumspection towards Catholics who may have unwittingly in good faith sought membership in Masonic associations with the best of intentions, said the Commission Chairman, Bishop Jose R. Rojas of Libmanen. Church ban continues. The Catholic Church's position remains unchanged. Masonic associations whose beliefs, rituals, and customs were irreconcilable to the doctrine of the Church. The bishops also explained that the 1983 Code of Canon Law does not explicitly prohibit Catholics' membership in the Masons. However, the new code omitting the name Masonic Association does not mean its acceptance, they said. The omission was simply meant to extend the application of the prohibition of membership to other associations, whose principles like those of Masonic Associations are perceived to be irreconcilable with the doctrine of the Church, the statement said quoting the Vatican Declaration. Masons can be Catholic? Filipino Masons said they do not see anything wrong in being Catholic and a Freemason. Filipino Catholic Freemason Edward Cruz, 56, says he attends Mass in Catholic Church and Masonic Lodge in South San Francisco. Freemasonry makes good Catholic men better, said Cruz who moved to the U.S. in 1999. Freemason and lawyer Frank Munez, 61, from Quezon City of Manila said the Masonic Association is like a fraternity that can help establish business connections and to build a wider clientele. It's a fraternity. We are not denying God's love. In fact, we encourage our members to be men of faith and good countrymen. What did you think of this episode? To continue to promote Freemasonry, hit that like button now. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give us a comment. The Old Fashioned Masonic Podcast, where real Masons talk Freemasonry. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give us a comment.